we are playing tee off by Gottlieb. I'm revisiting this table for a variety of reasons. Um, one is the mechanic of the captive ball spinner you have in the center. Um, I was talking uh, about this mechanic in another video with one of my subscribers and this was the table that uh, I thought about first that had one. Not many tables have captive ball spinners like this table does. It's also it also has one pop bumper, and I originally thought it had none. So it's it's right underneath the red ramp over there. Um, it's hard to see. I don't think you can see it, but it's a one popper. Um, hey, it's party time! It's also got this cool gopher toy on the real uh, table that moves around with the sound effects, and I'll show you that right here on the flyer. And as you can see in the flyer. Um, Zoom in here. You see that toy? See that toy? That's the uh, gopher, and on the real table, it sits on top of the back glass, as you can see, and it moves. You know, if I was a, if I was a kid at you know at an arcade, I would just want to pull that and break it off and just steal the <laughs> steal those old gopher toy, right? But that's pretty cool. I mean, how many, how many? Uh, you know, tables are like that, that you have that cool toy. Then I love how you can see the flyer. You can see the height, the width, the depth. It's very comical kind of table. Love the artwork. Look at this. Sealed membrane switches. See, this is back in 93. And you look at the technology there. So, without further ado, let's play some No Good Gopher. I want to get a shiny ball here because I did dim the lights a little bit. Hold one, let's go. And so, this table does a great job as well. Extra ball already? Let's go. This table does a great job of of, of um, making you really feel like you're playing, you're at a golf course because you have the mini upper flipper at the top that acts like a putting when you're on the green, and then you have the big flippers when you're driving, you know. And of course, you have these kickout holes that you know very reminiscent of golf, right? And then when you think about the cousin table to this table, it's definitely got to be William's No Good Gophers. And this table also has a nice flow. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention was... You see where the coconut drop targets are in the middle? When you hit them, they, they they open up a passage lane that you can go through for some interesting shots. You can see it indicated by the the yellow arrow. In case you don't know, you blew it. Oh, I have an extra ball though. So that was a free ball basically. Mystery award. Let's go. And I love too how it comes down this like little river here. Love that. Shoot for the volcano. There's the volcano up kicker. That's the technical name. Oh, and I forgot to mention as well. You also have a captive ball. See it? See this captive ball moving? It's hitting the captive ball hits the pop bumpers. That's how you hit the pop bumper. The pop bumper, I should say. See, look at that. Oh, I just learned something today. Wow, I just learned that I like this table now. Look at that, sh that shot, look at that, and look at the lights with that. Oh, man. Such a good feeling when you, when you learn something new about a table. There's the up kicker. Good 
right orbit shot. 50 million. Oh, see? The hurry up shot was right in the middle between those coconut drop targets. And you have a spinner. Shoot for the volcano. Volcano, okay. No, I want to shoot where that red arrow is. And well, now it's gone. I'll shoot the volcano then. We gotta find the gopher now. Wow! That is a bad shot. Round two. Right orbit. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Start around. Look at those lights. Look at those white flashers. I'd love to see a VPW version of this table, to be honest. Looks like you need some serious help. Keep your shirt on. My shirt is on. Don't worry about that. Did anybody teach you how to play this game? There we go. Ooh, almost hit the captain ball. Did anybody ah. know how to play this game? And I'm I'm also interested to know what you guys think about this table. Do you guys enjoy this table? What are your experiences like with it? Because I know that I'm going to be playing this a lot more now that I found out that this table has a pop bumper. But the only way you can, you know, hit it is hitting that captive ball. It's, it, it's not a hard shot, but it's not an easy shot. There it goes. So you can hear the poppers. Look at that. I love that. I really do. This table has so many great mechanics. Little spot target there. Wait, what are we doing now? Hole in one. Oh, jeez. I think what I also enjoy about this table is the um, color scheme. It's very like, you know, cartoony and comical, and uh, it reminds me a little bit of Surf and Safari, a little bit of Wipeout, all from Gottlieb. Well, guys, thank you for watching me play some Tito off. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, I'll catch y'all later. Take care.